Hey everyone, it's Lynette, and I'm here with my friend Tiffany from, what's your channel name? Latte's Lip Gloss and Lip Literature. Gloss and literature. <laughs> I'll link her channel down below, but today we are here to do a book tag that we just created called the 90s Music Book Tag because we love 90s music. Mm -hmm. It's the best music, it's the best generation. So we have 15 questions, we have songs to go with each of those questions, and we will tag people at the end, and hopefully you will do it and love it just as much as we loved creating it. So the first song is by Chumba Wamba, and it's called Tub Thumping. The question that goes along with Chumba Wamba is name a character you didn't think would make it out of the book alive. Uh, for me, well for both of us actually, this is PETA yeah. from The Hunger Games. I really thought PETA was going to kick the bucket. I really did too. Like especially in the second book. Didn't they leave him behind? Or did he go up in the hovercraft with them at the end? Didn't he get like severely tracker jackered or whatever they were called? Yeah, that was in the third one and they like used him as a weapon. Yeah. Are you saying too many spoilers? I think everybody's read The Hunger Games. Or seen the movie. Or seen the movie. It's but guys. <laughs> Peta, I really thought he was Peta. a goner, especially in the second one. I really, I didn't think, I didn't think he made it to the hovercraft. I think they left him down in the clock. I really do. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time. It's been a time. Hey! But it's Peta. 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 But I'm glad he made it. He's one of my favorite characters, so yay Peta. Uh, team Gale. Oh. The next song is My Name Is by Eminem. So the question for this song is, name a forgettable book. I think we have the same answer for this. Uh, the Perfectionist by Sarah Shepard. Both of us uh, were looking at our Goodreads and we saw The Perfectionist listed and we're both like, what? Did, did we read, read this? this? <laughs> How did it end? We don't remember. So that was a forgettable book, I think, for both of us. The next song on our 90s music book tag is I'll Be Missing You by Puff Daddy, P. Diddy. P. Diddy. What's his new name? He has like a reggae he, name now. No, I think he, he kept it. Oh. It was like, love, all love, one love. Or it was not one brother love. love. Like Bob Marley. Brother love. It was brother love. <laughs> the question that goes along with I'll be missing you is what is a character that died too soon? We have the same answer for this as well. That is Toby, a Pretty Little Liars. I think he died in like the second book. If you read the books. If you read the books, Toby is like not a main character in it. Mm -mm. Like only like in the first one when they suspect him to be A and then he, he's gone. But in the show, he's like a big part and he's like one of our favorite characters in the show. He wears a do-rag. <laughs> Toby's do-rag. The next song is I Don't Wanna Wait by Paula Cole. The question for this is um, an upcoming book in a series that you are anxiously waiting on. So my answer for this is Obsidio, which is the <laughs> third... Why did I just do that? <laughs> Obsidio? <laughs> I tried to hold it in. But I'm <laughs> so Obsidio comes out this spring. It is the third book in the Illuminate Files series, and I think it's the final book, but I really hope it isn't. <laughs> I hope they write more. It is already out, but I have not read it yet, so I guess I'm still anxiously awaiting it. It is the third uh, Laura Jean book. Oh, the boys I've ever loved? Yes. Sorry, I saw so your cat and it threw me off. Brew, <laughs> brew. So the next 90s song on our 90s music book tag is Tearing Up My Heart by NSYNC. <laughs> question that goes with the Tear It Up My Heart song is what couple do you hope never breaks up or what ship broke up that tore your heart up? Um, that would be Mallory and Ryder from... Problem With Forever? The Problem With Forever. <laughs> my answer of course is Feyre and Resand. If they break up in these novellas that are coming out, I'm going to spontaneously combust. There's, and I've not read it. And she needs to. <laughs> Tell her book too. She needs to read it. The next song is I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. The 
the question with this <laughs> is a book with potential that you would rewrite. I picked They All Fall Down. I've talked about it in other videos. It started out really, really good. So good. So, so good. But then it got weird. And not like a good weird. It got like, Where like you're reading it. Story from weird. Yeah, you're reading it and you're like, what? Where, Where did that come you? from? We were reading it at the same time. I think we were reading it for Bro's Book Club. Book Club. Well, what you're reading it for? <laughs> I picked Turtles All the Way Down. I just didn't know. The backstory on that was very, very weird. The backstory? Yeah. The backstreet story. Backstreet story. Oh. <laughs> I would definitely rewrite that though from a different perspective altogether. But you like the concept because it was like about anxiety? Yes. yes. And OCD. And OCD. Which I'm all about. But right. then the weird millionaire story. <laughs> millionaire story. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> oh, that's a 90s reference. Look at us. Well, the next song on our 90s music book tag is Don't Let Go by In Vogue. So the question that goes with Don't Let Go by In Vogue is what is a book series you were sad to see end? Are you okay? You're getting attacked by stars? Okay. So my answer for this is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood because I'm watching the TV show and like I said in I think my best of video that it's going into season two so I really just wish the book would have continued and been this awesome series but I'm glad to see that the series is continuing on TV, so I guess that's gonna have to do for me. What's your answer? My pick was Last Survivor series by Susan. I don't even think her name was Susan. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> it is Susan. Hey, make a book, Susan. Susan Beth Pfeffer. 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 Susan Beth Pfeffer. 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 And that is the last Survivor series. Uh, the first one in that book was Life As We Know It. It's an older book. Um, there are three of them. I think she actually made a fourth one, but it's from a different person's perspective and I never read it, so. I think there's four. I think I think it's from her brother's point of view. Hmm. I didn't read it. I haven't read them all, any of them. You need to. I need to, yeah. The, the next song on our list is Baby One More Time by Brittany. <laughs> Do you cuss on your channel? I don't. But... Oh, but it's by Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> And the question to this is a book or series you want to reread? I said Harry Potter. I said Ready Player One. Lynette won't watch it. Read it. I am reading it. The print is for like this big. It's like the Bible. It is not like the Bible. <laughs> the print. On? I have the book. Well, and it's not it bigger, but you can't make the print bigger. Enough. It, I need like a magnifying glass. They make them. You just sit them over the page. Oh you my saw god! Them at the bookstore. I know, but am I eighty nine? Are you? Yeah. <laughs> the next song on our nineties music list is "Creep" by Radiohead. question that goes along with the song Creep is what is your guilty pleasure reads or what are your weirdo creepy reads? So mine um, was going to be Pretty Little Liars, which I think is one for both of us. Yes. Uh, guilty Pleasure, Pretty Little Liars. The original eight for me. Yes. Oh. Just don't. end it when it should have ended. Don't even get me started. <laughs> My answer is The Thousandth Floor. Um, it's sort of Pretty Little Liars, Gossip girl E, but like set in a futuristic New York. Uh, it's really, really good. So you should check that out. I think the third one comes out this summer. I actually have three Pretty Little Liars. Um, the House of Night series, they're total garbage, but I can't help it. I could not. I could not. <laughs> And anything by Nicholas Sparks. I know it's the same basic story told over and over again. People fall in love, something tragic happens, and then there's a happy ending. I don't know what it is about them. I don't care. I love them, and I'll read them forever. Our next song is What a Man by Salt and Peppa. And the question with this is, who is your book boyfriend? Who's yours? Resand. Mine is Rune from A Thousand Boy Kisses. I need to read that. You do. I think it's very underrated. Yeah, 
So the question that goes along with no diggity, no doubt, no doubt is uh, what is the author with the best writing style? Jenny Han. Jenny Han. Jenny Han. I say, Sarah J. Mass. <laughs> Uh, the next song on our list is Waterfalls by TLC. The question that goes with that is a book that made you cry. What made you cry, bro? Um, a Short History of the Girl Next Door. I feel like you would really like it. I don't read a lot of contemporary. I love contemporary. I know, but you would really like this one. Don't listen to the audio version, though. I made that mistake. I know, you're gonna have to ugly cry <laughs> on the side of the road again. Uh, one of mine was A Thousand Boy Kisses. That made me ugly cry. I listened to the audiobook. It was not pretty. There was there was red face blotchiness. I had to go into work late because I had to sit in the parking lot and just calm it down. The next song on our list of 90s music is Emotions by Mariah Carey. So of course the question that goes along with Emotions by Mariah Carey is what is a book that gave you all the feels? What's your book? This is an old one, but it's Perks of Being a Wallflower. So I haven't read that. I haven't even seen the movie. I have not seen the movie, but I read the book. I heard it's very I, good. I think I heard people say the movie was really different than the book. It probably is. They always are. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Mine is Akatar. I know. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> surprise, surprise! Sarah J. Bass! Next up on our 90s music tag list is Wannabe by Spice Girls. And the question for this is who is your favorite strong female lead? I have a couple. Maybe. Um, who did I say? Oh, Katniss mm -hmm. from The Hunger Games. Hermione Granger. I didn't read it. I know. <laughs> and Selena from Throne of Glass, of course. Badass. Who's yours? I didn't mean that either. Um, Katniss and Triss. 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 The Divergent series. That's a good one. I did enjoy it. I didn't enjoy her at first. She had to grow on me. I think she kind of grew, had, she got, come on. She kind of had to grow on me too. The last song on our 90s music book tag is Whoop, There It Is. So the final question that goes with the song Whoop, There It Is is what is a book that has a surprise ending or a surprise twist? What'd you say? They all fall down. Yeah, but that was like not a good surprise. That was like, whoa! It's like, surprise! This is Yuck. awful. Yeah. I said Illuminae because when I was reading it, uh, my friend Catherine kept texting me saying, did you get to the twist? Did you get to the twist? And I'm like, which one? There's so many twists in this book. But I hope the other ones are like that. Gemini kind of oh, was. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. I haven't read it yet. Or listen to it. Audio is better. Is the audio of a Gemini out? I don't know. Mm. Illuminae was better. Yeah. So that is it for our 90s music book tag. Uh, I have people to tag. Do you have people to tag? I'll find some people. We'll find some people to tag. And we will tag you down below in the description box. So be sure to check out to see if you're tagged. Even if you're not tagged, do this. Uh, tag us. We love to make friends. We love to talk and be a part of the community. Uh, check out Tiffany's channel again. It is... Lattes, Lip Gloss, and Literature. And it's Lattes, Lip Gloss, and Literature, so check out Tiffany's channel. Subscribe to both of our channels. We would love to meet new people and talk about books and do more tags. Tag us in videos because we like to do book tags as well. So we will be doing more collabs. If you would like to do a collab with either one of us or both of us, just hit Send us, us up. A message. Send us a message. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Ready? Let me let me judge. Let me mm -hmm. judge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't say my name or my channel name though. So well, maybe you should start. Hi, I'm picking you. Hi, this Hi. is me. I'm gonna cross the other way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And see. So the question that goes along with the Chumba Wumba song is name a character you didn't think would make it out of the book alive. Chumba Wumba. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho.
Tommy Sawasaw. Tommy Sawasaw. Ho, ho. Tommy Sawasaw. Is this still recording? Yeah. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> okay. Did I just spit on you? Moving too fast. Moving too fast. <laughs> it's recording. Oh, hi. Hello. Let me hit play. It's warm. Uh huh. It's warm. It's a little warm in here. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so the next. And uh... How can I be serious and hip hop being serious? It's my life. Okay. Let me sit like a hedgehog all hunched over. A hedgehog? A hedgehog sits hunched over? Don't they roll up though? Yeah. Yeah, at the same time. I think we're reading it for Bro's Book Club. Book Club. I don't know what you're reading it for. <laughs> <laughs> Take another drink. <laughs> I'm all out. Hmm. Did you ever watch Raven? Boys in motion. Yeah. Boys in motion. Don't record it. Stop recording. <laughs> Stop recording. <laughs>